after a 3-0 defeat this afternoon. Um, John, um, good to see you. What happened out there from your perspective? I thought we were out running out for it today. Um, and you can't give away the, the first goal like that. They're coming together of our two centre halves. Uh, it's not good defending. And then the second one's a freak, is it a freak goal. It, it, it just loops in at the far post. And again, that shouldn't happen. And then, uh, you know, the, the third goal isn't good defending as a back four. So, uh, yeah, that was hugely disappointing, the goals we conceded. And especially the conceding so early on in the manner we conceded. Um, you know, we come here to try and win today and uh, there's no doubt they deserved all three points. Yeah, it's um, of, of all the places to, to, to gift an early goal, mm. this could be one of the worst in League One. It really put you on the back foot. Yeah, it's usually, it gave us a, a hugely tough um, afternoon thereafter. And um, yeah, uh, quite disappointing but you know try and gain some perspective after today you know it, it is a tough Christmas schedule uh, in the end I've just got to manage bodies uh, because certain players can only play certain minutes and uh, tough but gain a bit of perspective as I say uh, halfway through the, the campaign at the moment 11th position and uh, you know today wasn't a, a good performance by any means um, you know feel sorry for our fans that, that came today we gave them a, a great game uh, the other day against Oxford but today for whatever reason and I, I've got to look back at that 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 isn't to the standard we require anyway so um, yeah but like I say 11th um, after 23 games it's the, the shoes perspective really you talk about it being a great game on Saturday, John against Oxford, which it was. Mm. Was there any kind of hangover from that? You put such an effort into winning that game, scoring so late. One or two players maybe a little bit tired after that one? Well, look, you know, obviously we're carrying some knocks and injuries and there's players on the bench that I uh, had on the bench. But if I play them and they, they're teetering on the edge, I they can break. Um, I, I've got to play the longer game at the moment, so that's just where I'm at with, with some, some players. And then I got a centre half I have to come off early today who was touch and go to play, and um, you know, and, uh, and that didn't look good. So, uh, and then I got to look after John, and it's hard, it's hard. That was hard, and I knew this period would be hard, you know. Uh, John Guthrie, the skipper you're referring to there, Sam Sharon was a player that had to come off because of injury. I know we're very soon after the final whistle here, but the folks at home will want to know what No, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know at the moment, so mm -hmm. we're just, we'll just waiting to see. We wouldn't know right now. You obviously went with the, the, the back three to start today, John, with yeah. the, because of the, the physicality that Steve needs to bring, of, of course, I, I imagine that's part of the thinking, but I suppose, can you even talk about systems, etc., when when you can't get the, the, the basics right in the, in the level of the performance? No, it, you, you, you felt in the first, you know, five minutes you thought well hold on we're, we're actually playing quite well competing quite well and just that that first goal to give it away like like we did and then obviously we're going to change shape and make different uh, tweaks etc and yeah it really it rocked us I, I would suppose and uh, it we shouldn't allow those moments to you know we've fought back a lot of times this season but um, unfortunately uh, at this place, it's very hard to come back when they, they suffocate the life out of you, which they did today. You mentioned it earlier, if we move away from today in terms of the, 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 the result, but the significant milestone halfway through the season, um, to be, I know it sounds a bit negative to say 11 points clear of the bottom four, but uh, of course that's what everyone thinks about, and to be in 11th place in the table, I know you've got a lot to think about, but you must be really proud of that achievement so far. Yeah, look, we don't, we don't sit back and go, oh, brilliant, we're doing great. Uh, look, we're, we're solid and we're well above uh, the curve where we, we should be at the moment. But um, we don't want to rest on that. We want to keep pushing forward. But obviously, we know with the constraints we've got within the squad in the minutes, I can give to certain players and a few players struggling with um, some injuries they are really got to manage that squad like you wouldn't believe at the moment and people won't know the context to it but it, it is what it is and it's what we've got to do to try and try and get through it's about consolidating league one that's the, <clears throat> the overall ambition for the cobblers 
I know it's a bit like looking into a crystal ball job, but he'd have probably taken his position, wouldn't he, at the start of the season, half of the league one table, thereabouts? Yeah, I obviously would, but um, I don't like days like this, and I don't like it no, for it. I, I don't. No, no, you guys don't. I don't like it. Uh, the players are deeply annoyed with themselves, and I, I feel, um, you know, we don't want to deliver performances like that to our fans. No way, they don't deserve that. And uh, but it's not like we set out to do that. Not one bit. And uh, look, you, you do have off days, and we just got to bounce back. Uh, looking ahead, John, because it is a busy period. Um, on to, to Friday, obviously away at Lincoln. I know it's difficult in terms of managing the squad at the moment. When you've had a, a, a result of performance like this, I suppose the next thing you want to do is get straight into another game, and you've got that opportunity in a couple of days' time. Yeah, got the opportunity. So look, um, we'll set ourselves out and get ourselves prepped and ready, and uh, try and attack the game as we always do, and uh, you know, and, and try and put that right today. And just to try and be positive about today's game and some senses anyway. You never give up, do you? Even at Derby when you were four down, even today when you were three down. I mean, I can imagine some size might have capitulated that would have been kind of an embarrassing score. You, you hung on in there, at least you gave your best shot and Cecil, uh, Tyler Simpson running towards the end and Sam Hoskins doing the same. I uh, like, you know, as I say, individually and collectively, we weren't great today, but the one thing the boys will never give up and they'll keep working and uh, they wouldn't expect anything else less from themselves and we wouldn't expect anything less. And like I said, our fans, and, and you guys don't don't deserve anything less. And look, that really hurts. That really hurts today. And uh, but you've got to say you come up against, give them all the plaudits. They're one hell of a team. Uh, and and uh, you know they recruited excellently to uh, be in that position as well. So um, you know hats off to them. Uh, congratulations today, John. Go right. enjoy the rest of your Boxing Day. All right, thanks, boys.